Hi everyone, we are Kelvin here. So let's discuss about BWG Contest 7 for question. Optimize water distribution in a village. So we are having end houses in a village. And then um, there is an option to build water source to each of the house with a given cost in a variable called wells. So uh, first house needs need a cost of one to build water source. Second house need cost of two and third house need cost of two. And there is also option to build a pipe to connect two house so uh, they can share the water source so um, let's see the first example here we have three house with the wells um, of cost of one two and two for uh, first house second house and third house and we have the pipes as well so let's say if we don't want to build the pipes at all then every each house will build its own wells so we will end up with the cost of 5, 1 plus 2 plus 2. But if we build the pipe, it will be more effective. So we will pick the first house to build the wells with cost of 1. And then we connect house 1 and house 2 with the cost of 1. And then we connect house 2 and house 3 with the cost of 1. So in total, we only spend cost of 3. Okay. So yeah, that is the minimum cost in the first example here. So. Um, how we're going to approach this question is basically we need to know like um, whether two cities is connected or not so we can use a data type called disjoint union set to detect that and another thing here is let's say we have three pipe like we, we have one more pipe option here right if you already built the pipe one to pi one to two and two to three you don't need to build another pipe from 3 to 1 because um, 1, 2, and 3 currently is already inside one group. So you don't need to build a pipe from 1 to 3. Right? So we go, we also can check that by using the disjoint union set. So yeah, and when we let's say we have three options of pipe, we need to start from the cheapest pipe to build first. So we need to sort this pipe by the cheapest one by the smallest cost first so yeah let's see the solution so i create a simple disjoint union set structure here so when you're going to merge two group into one like um you building pipe uh, from one to two it means this uh, the group of one let's say if one have a lot of connected connected house and two have a lot of connected house when one and two is connected um all city that is connected to to two is also connected to one and also the reverse way so yeah when we try to merge we try to find the group of a and we say um, the group of a parent will be group of b parent so all of them will be connected this is uh, in a disjoint union set you probably can check it out on how this join union set this join union set work and when we try to do a find we try as long as it's not the parent we keep uh, find doing the recursion call until the parent is itself so this one also a very standard method from this join union set you can probably try to check it out so let's focus on the solution itself so we have uh, so this is just a initialization of the this join union set and then yeah we initialize each of the house have its own group initially because we don't build any pipe yet so um, house one the parent will be house one so house one the group one house two group two house three group three and etc and next thing is cost detector so each of the house so cost detector is um, so you have a house and how much is the cost to build a water source there so at the worst case every house build its own wells right so this is the maximum cost initially we put unless we can figure out like if we can merge it and we don't need to build the source later on so yeah and next thing is we sort the pipe based on the cost so we start from the smallest cost to the most expensive cost due to the reason I explained before and yeah 
and then we look through all the pipe starting from the cheapest pipe so the pipe to connect house A to house B with the given cost uh, from the index 0, 1 and 2 here first house, second house with the cost second house, third house with the cost so um, how do we decide like we want to merge the first house, and, first house and second house so we need to know like first house and second house is not connected to a same group first like if 1 and 2 is connected and 2 and 3 is connected um, when we check the group of 1 let's say the pair uh, it's called group 1 and 3 is also in the group 1 like so they are in the same group so we don't want to build another pipe but let's say 3 is not connected to 2 then 3 is possible to be connected to 1 we, we, it's possible for us to build that pipe because 3 having different group with 1, 2 right so yeah that's a uh, fine method like group what is the group of a and what is the group of b if they are not the same then we can continue to the next checking condition next checking condition is uh, what the water source to build a uh, group a and water source to build group b so we try to find their minimum cost like um, cost to build water source for group a and cost to build water source from group group b what is the minimum cost so we store it in the minimum well so if we decide to build that pipe the cost will be the minimum well plus the cost itself cost of the pipe right or if you don't want to build the pipe which is represented by cost here um, the cost to build the separate well means the cost the group the cost of the group a and the cost of the group b being added up we compare it with if we build the cheapest uh, cheapest well plus the pipe if it's cheaper to build the pipe then we merge the group a and group b right once we merge group a and group b um, we update the cost so cost of the group a or cost of the group b is the same because we already merged group a and group b so that group the cost will be minimum well right to build that thing yeah and the total cost will add up to the cost so um, the cost is the cost to build the pipe but the well itself we will add it later on that's why we are not doing minimum well plus cost because the cost of the pipe we want to calculate it separately from the well itself so that's why we don't add another cost here like minimum well plus, plus cost but this cost is just the cost of building that group uh, for the water source but the, the the pipe itself is already built so we already appended to the total cost right uh, the reason is because um, when we try to add up a lot of house into one group like let's say we have a lot of house and we already connect all the house into one group right so we will end up only building one wells and all the pipe that is required to connect all of those houses so that's why you see uh, pipe pipe cost is already uh, added up because we already decide to build that pipe but the well itself we need to determine it at the last if we already merge a lot of uh, house into one group by the pipe then we only need the minimum well in those pipe so that's what we are trying to do here so I create a headset uh, just to make sure like the wells for that group is already built. So we look through all the all of our house and we check like if we haven't built a well for, for that group. So you, you see here we do a find eye which is find a group of that house. So when it's connected like this we can say like uh, house 2 the group is 1, house 3 the group is also 1. And house one the group is also one so that's why when we look through all the house we just need to make sure like we haven't built the water source for that group so if we haven't built the water source for that group then we build the water source for that group with the cost to build that water source right and then we mark it as visited 
So the total cost will end up having all the cost to build the pipe and the cost to build the water source for each unique group. And that's it for this question. So uh, thank you for watching. See you on the next weekly contest.